This is our home in Finland. Ta-da! When we are not doing adventures, we come to Finland and live in this beauty during the summer and the winter. Can you show us around? Yes, I can. Let's go inside. <laughs> it's minus 25. Minus 25 degrees Celsius. I don't know what's in Fahrenheit, sorry for that. Yeah. But let me first very quickly tell the car is Ivico Daily. Ivico is an Italian car and now here we are here in the north in Finland. And you know, Italian car and uh, Scandinavia really, they're not a good combination. So basically car goes on sometimes and sometimes it doesn't. Yeah. Coolant water is leaking and leaking very badly. We don't have almost a day without a problem with this Italian car, Iveco, I tell you that. Yeah, I bought the car around four years ago, before we met, and I was planning to have it as a camper van during the summer. So the car is not insulated. It was half built when I bought it, so it's not the perfect layout. Actually, it's not the perfect layout at all. But now we have this one and we make best out of it. Ready? Yes, welcome aboard. So the first thing you can see is also the most important part of the van and it's the, the wooden stove. This one is super cute. It's cubic mini wood stove. It's a grizzly model and we can also heat the water next to it and we can also cook on top of it. I think our food is ready. <laughs> Smells super good. Yes. <laughs> this is really cold. Oh, so warm. I would die without this. <laughs> Even if I'm a Finn, it doesn't mean that I take cold more than average person. <laughs> I just use a lot more clothes. So what we basically need when we are in Finland, we need somewhere to sleep and also somewhere to cook a little bit because everything is very expensive to, to buy outside. So we have a small kitchen and during the winter everything under the stove is a freezer or fridge, depends on the outside temperature. So now when we came like a, a one hour ago over here, we are still heating the stove so everything is frozen, even the water, if it's uh, below the, the stove. One tip for everyone. Don't let your house be in a minus, because all your fresh mandarins, for example, they look very good and they sound like this. It's frozen. And then we also have bananas for the smoothies, for example. A little bit dark, that doesn't matter, but it's quite difficult to peel it. We have water containers. The other one is not here because it got frozen. So we need to give all the water if we want to drink in this one. We have a small sink and now when we just have made a smoothie, everything is dirty now. So don't mind that. And then we have an oven for the stove. So whenever we want to cook, we just put it on top of it and then Payman makes very good fish. And then we have the battery for the electricity, we usually use the, this blender and uh, charge the phones, charge the uh, laptops and that kind of stuff. And I forgot to mention that we charge our battery at the summer with solar panels and during the winter with grid electricity because during the winter Finland is covered with darkness. And the lights are coming straight from the battery uh, of the car. We have two batteries in the car. The other one is uh, running the engine at first. And then the other one is only for this side of the car. Then we have storage. 
here is a little bit more food and here is mainly my my clothes <laughs> but now they're also frozen so everything I want to wear I need to take them out of there on the previous day and then I put those ones on a higher level and then they're warm when I want to wear them welcome to the Finnish winter and over here also we have a we have a storage for food but now basically it's freezer so whatever we put there it gets frozen this is a drawer uh, we put the forks and uh, I don't know a spoon and things like that and the water from this sink goes over here to this bottle and then yeah we can empty it once a while and that's it and here as you can see there's a fruit and everything we put it here it's just perfect of course for me but sailor will explain she would like a little bit different layout and a little bit better insulated car but she will explain that herself and here is our spices then the next thing is i explain about the stove we use combination of the wood and these kind of briquettes these briquettes are really nice i put one of these inside the stove and then i can adjust the amount of air goes to the stove so i adjust it really to the minimum and then it can keep our home warm for like a six hours seven hours it can burn basically this one so that's really really nice the next thing here we got this carbon monoxide detector so if in case there is uh, no uh, enough oxygen and there's a lot of carbon monoxide so this guy will make a noise but there's so much hole in this car everywhere and a lot of air comes and goes so we are really not worried about that and then Sailor will continue the rest. And where we sleep. I wanted to have a full size bed and we have it. So it takes a half of the car. Then we have a storage over here. We have built it. This one is for my stuff and also some of the payment stuff. And the left side is for payment stuff. So basically when you have seen this van life videos in social media or whatever, when uh, people are in the van during the winter having their coffee and everything like the doors are open and they're seeing that view that's <coughs> sorry for everyone but you need to keep everything closed because all the little holes and gaps are taking the heat out of the car so everything needs to be closed all the time and also it's cold it's super cold if you don't have a store or any kind of heater and also this car is half insulated when I uh, when I bought the car it was half insulated so everything from this to the back is insulated but this part is not and that's a problem that's why we we lose the heat quite a lot when we are heating inside of the car and also this block I couldn't remove it there is a structure inside of it of course it would be a lot nicer if we have an open space but for this car it's not possible but for the next car it would be very nice to to plan it all by yourself under the bed is the storage we have a lot of stuff under the bed and we put our gears and blah blah but it is not so handy to access but yeah it is what it is and it's better than nothing and we are happy about it <laughs> Yeah, and we don't want to put so much money into this because you can have those kind of massive drawers coming outside of the car from the back, but then it costs. It's the same with the, those she doors of the shelves. Those hatches are very expensive. So we just skip those ones. As a toilet for peeing, I usually pee inside this one, which now is frozen, and for it going to the... So what happens? I push this one out, it comes out. Yeah, that was made for the dishes, but now I cannot use that for the dishes anymore. And then I put a, like a bio bag inside of it, then I put it here, then this one goes inside and then you go here, here, then whoop, whoop. 
That's a long way. Yeah. Then I do the job. Then after that, I close it and I take it with me and I dispose it in a correct way. So basically, I call it a takeaway. Yeah, that's disgusting. But for a normal people, like almost me, then I go to the gym and I go somewhere inside for a poop. And those kind of uh, uh, dishwashing buckets are not used for the for the poop. And also the distance between uh, your butt and that bucket is very disturbing long way. So basically, so basically you need to be very precise to aim right. Yeah. You don't want to aim wrong. So. And next thing is the shower. We go to the um, climbing gym, to the Key Paleo Arena for climbing. When we are here, basically daily, and over there also we can take a shower, which is fantastic, and they have a really a great shower, and it's really a beautiful, beautiful place for climbing also. So, really thanks to them. And then also, actually, we got a very nice climbing training when we wanted to go to the bed from here. Actually, here also I can train, as you can see. It's really awesome. I like it. And then, yeah, we go here. A little, bit of, a little bit of boulder problem for me here also is my working office. Uh, I take the computer and many of the videos which you have seen has been edited actually here. And I got all of my hard drives around here. So it's all good. It's really cozy place. And actually once a while, I also can do like a here things like a plank, uh, I don't know, push up. Well, now you are just showing the things that you can do anywhere. Yeah, yeah, but well, basically you can do, you can do quite a lot. Yeah. And yeah, I really love life here, but for sailor maybe it's a little bit too cold and too small. For me, I need a little bit bigger place. Not just because I want to have a bigger place, but I think for every, uh, like you need to have a place for everything. And now when I bought this van, I bought it for myself for the summer. So it's equipped also for myself for the summer. So for two people during the winter, it's not enough. But yeah. It's like a manageable and I still want to do it, so why not? For me, peeing in a bottle, bottle is quite impossible. But I use the pee style, which you might remember. It's this one over here. You have also seen it in, uh, in Africa. I use this one. I open the door. I go outside, but I don't need to take my pants off. And I use this one, I pee, and then I come inside. Because I'm not as lazy as payment and peeing inside. Sailor has built this one basically maybe 80% alone. And in the end, I did a little bit help. But for now, this is where we live whenever we are in Finland. Yeah, and we just basically need a place to sleep. And this is exactly that. We live our lives outside. Yeah. And now since we will have a huge adventure coming up, which is called Five Atlan, we will explain it in a future uh, videos. It's like it will take around three years. It's a crazy plan and we are very much looking forward to that. But thank you for watching and thank you for coming to our home. <laughs> and watch the, you can watch the video from our previous uh, adventure which was from Africa and actually we just came from Africa straight to here to put the stove on yeah we put the link around here somewhere much love and see you in the next video bye for now bye and wait but if you got any question about the van life in Finland let us know as you can see ours is a proper van life it's just not made only for instagram and youtube <laughs> we just show you a real life
<laughs> yeah, it's not the fancy one, it's not uh, the most practical one, but if you have any questions about living in a van during the winter especially, just put it in a comment and we try to answer. And we, you know, you are getting an honest answer always. Cheers and bye-bye. Much love. Bye.